What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today we're learning when to commit to a tackle when an attacker is dribbling at you with the ball. This video is for all positions, but it's mainly geared for defenders and midfielders. In a game, there will be situations where an attacker is dribbling at you and there will be 20 yards of space between you and him. Your coach may be shouting step up, the fans may be shouting step up and win the ball, but do you step up and win the ball in that situation? The answer is usually no. Here's why. If an attacker is running at you full speed and you're running at them full speed, it's easier for them to run by you because they're going full speed one way and you're going full speed the other way. The second and most important reason you don't want to step up is because if you step up, you're conceding the space behind you. So, if you step up, what happens behind you? You leave space for attackers to make runs in behind you, and that is not a good thing. Is an attacker 20 yards ahead of you at the halfway line dangerous? Not really. Is it dangerous if a through ball is played into a forward running into the space behind you because you stepped up? Is that dangerous? Yes! Don't concede the space behind you for attackers to run into. Think of the last pro game you watched. When you see an attacking midfielder dribbling the ball around the middle part of the field, are those defenders stepping up to win the ball or are they dropping off? They're dropping off. For the exercise we're going to do to practice, you're going to need a partner, a ball, and three cones. If you don't have a partner, then just simulate this exercise on your own and imagine doing it in a game. Set up a start cone. This is where the attacker will be with the ball. Set up a second cone about 20 yards away from the start cone. This is where the defender will be. The third cone is 20 yards behind the second cone. The attacker dribbles at the defender full speed. The defender drops and continues to look around for other attackers making runs until he reaches the third cone. Repeat for two minutes, then switch with partner. We are trying to simulate a game situation in this exercise, not trying to win the ball. Key points. Key point number one. Drop off. Don't step to the attacker and concede the space behind you. Number two, jockey backwards and keep your eye on the ball and your body open to the field. You should be at a 60% pace. Your goal is to close the gap between you and the attacker without conceding the space behind you. If you run too fast backwards, there'll be too much space for the attacker. Number three, step up when the time is right. You can't drop off all the way in your own goal and let the attacker have a free shot. When the attacker is 25 to 30 yards away from your goal, it's time to step up and win the ball. Some things that could be going wrong for you. If players are constantly running by you in the game, it's because you're running at them full speed and diving in. Be sure you're moving backwards when they're running towards you. Now, when they take off, you're already moving in that direction. Bonus tips, the best defenders aren't the biggest and fastest defenders, they're the smartest. Don't get me wrong, being big, fast, and strong helps, but those qualities only take you so far. Take pride in how smart you are at defending and how well you read the game. For 1v1 defending tips, be sure and watch my online soccer academy training video about 1v1 defending with DC United's Jed Zaner. It's one of my older videos but guest Jed Zayner of DC United gives some great tips. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, rate, and share this video if you did, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and become a member for free at onlinesocceracademy.com. Players all over the world use it. You can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment, let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and until next time, remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!